Whew. Hi, greetings and welcome fellow YouTubers out there. Um, sorry I'm going to make this one a little bit quick because, uh, well, I've only got one bar left on this camera's battery and I forgot to charge it. So that's a uh, whoops on my, on my behalf. Um, yeah, unfortunately I've had a fair bit of a stressful week at work this uh, this week. I mean, still, still lots of problems going on, but... I managed to get a few things done on the uh, PSVR, uh, PSVR front, uh, the, the PSVR front. <laughs> Sorry, just get my uh, get my act together. Um, over the week, we've had uh, the new demo disc come out, demo disc two. So there's been, on the demo disc two, we've had lots of great stuff, lots of amazing uh, games and demos in there. But when it came down to it, there seemed there was only three games on the demo disc that we haven't actually played yet or done or done any sort of um, visuals on before. So those demo discs are... Uh, hi Han. Hey. Yeah. And Mrs. wants to come in and say hi. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> do you want to do this by yourself? Um, well, we've only got a couple of minutes left before this camera runs out of battery power. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Do well, you want to say something? No, no. You, want, you sure? Go on. You're in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm, okay. I'll wait for you then. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to say anything before we go? Mm. No. You alright? No? no. <laughs> okay. Bye. <Right. laughs> Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, as I said, we've got some. Um... Just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, the new demo disc 2 has just come out, and as I said, we found three games in there that, see, uh, that we haven't played before. One of them was Mosque. The other one was Persistence, uh, I think I pr pronounced that right, I'm dyslexic and I'm finding it hard to pronounce if I got it right or not. Uh, and the third one was The Star Child, i just make sure I got it right. Yeah, uh, so we had Moss, Persistence and Char Star Child. Now when I tried Moss, um, Moss where you play the role of a very cute little church mouse as you guide, guide it around there's lots of puzzles that you need to work through there's some bad guys that you need to fight and certainly does seem like a um, quite a cute little addictive game and I think that I, I think that's definitely going to be one for the to buy list when it comes out uh, the persistence which seems to be a sort of first-person shooter, but it's more of a survival-style first-person shooter, where you have to run around, you have to collect all little bits of fabrication co uh, fabrication codes, and when you use the fabricator, each item doesn't cost a set amount, but the cost for anything increases exponentially. So it's the first thing costs about, like, well, the first thing you buy from the fabricator is free. The second thing you buy is 500. The third thing you buy is 1,000 credits. And the th next thing is 2,000 credits. And before you know it, so you have to be very careful of what you decide to get from the fabricator. Will you get a gun or will you find out that a, a swarm, a swarm drone um, bomb is the best thing for you? So it's not a gut for go in, go running and gunning, blast everything and kill everything. You have to think about the surroundings that you're getting into, otherwise you run out of stuff that you can use. The next thing that was on uh, on the list was the Star Child. Now the Star Child was a very, very short demo, but it looked like an awesome demo. It really put that dollhouse effect really into action and it did quite well. Um, as you kind of looked around the environment and uh, just you can certainly feel that organic element that it put brought into it but the problem with the demo was that it was very short now I'm not too sure that the demo is enough to make me want to buy the game because but some people do seem to like the star child because I think that it was quite good and if it does do well I think it might be it might be one that we'll get in the future I mean, for example, um, when Wayward Sky came out, that was just a very short little demo, but it was enough for you to uh, get a good idea and really made me want to buy it. But as I said, I think Star Child, it just, I got a sort of a meh idea from that. 
However, however, if it goes, if it goes well and it gets some good credits, I might have, give it another another shot and buy it for real. Ah, yeah. As you may have seen from yesterday's video, sorry, just getting up my little list, my iPad list. We've gotten a few things. Um, I got the gaming experiments. Now, the gaming experiment we did between the 3rd and 5th of November. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we did the gaming experiment for the Sci-Fi London at the EXP Leisure Centre in Stratford. That was a three-day event. Uh, I managed to take my 360 camera in there and recorded a whole bunch load of stuff of all the stuff that we did we had things like uh, live musicians we had lightsaber duels we had a whole load of stuff now the video that I made and put out yes yesterday which was called the gaming experiment introduction it was basically just an intro just like a, a sneak peek to the actual video that I'm going to be making now in the future I am going to make a full-blown like maybe one and a half hours uh, one and a half hours um, video of people doing like their stand-up performances, their uh, comedy sketches, the the music, um, the the singing, the the uh, the lightsaber duel. I'm going to plunk all that into one eighteen rate um, one eighteen rate three sixty video and have it as um, a complete program. But that's something that I'm, I'm get, it's going to take me a while to do because there was a lot of video footage and a lot of stuff that I need to work on to make that possible. But as I said, uh, the one that just went out yesterday is just an intro, just a, a heads up. This is what's coming. Okay, what's next on the agenda? And yes, we've got two, uh, two more things. I think we've got the uh, PlayStation PS4 has come out with a Doom bundle. And if I remember rightly, there's also a Skyrim bundle. Don't quote me on that last one, but I'm sure that there was a Skyrim bundle. But I do have a heads up that there was a Doom, uh, a Doom bundle for the PSVR, PSVR um, going out there that you might want to check out. But speaking of Skyrim, the last thing on this uh, on this list I want to get out today is that on Tuesday, the 21st, I am going to attempt. The 24 hour Skyrim challenge. Now what's the 24 hour Skyrim challenge or 24 hour VR challenge? Well, I've just made it up myself. I've, no one else has actually done this. So I've just made it up myself and I saw my battery just going red. So I don't know how much longer I've got on this. The 24 hour challenge I'm going to be doing on Tuesday is basically, I'm going to see if I can stay in VR for a complete 24 hours. I've booked an entire week holiday for that week. So ordering the pizza, bringing the uh, Mountain Dew or whatever or, or whatever caffeinated drinks that I can find from the local shop, stock up, and I'm just gonna try and be playing Skyrim for an entire day, for an entire 24 hours. And I'll be broadcasting that live to you guys out there on my channel. So if you want to come and give your support on Tuesday the 21st to Wednesday the 21st, uh, 22nd, please do so. Come say hi, bring me, uh, bring me luck, and say, give me good wishes when I do the uh, when I do that challenge. So as I said, my, my camera's just about to run out of power because it's just gone red. So uh, sorry, sorry to like ram a jabber on this fast and um, just keep this short uh, and maybe not so sweet, but. Thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed uh, making this. And I'll see you guys out there.